From time to time we tend to get a little lost Thinking that our happiness is far away from us Staring out the window as the days go by When maybe we could find it if we took a look inside as we all wander through a million things Striving to rise up with our broken wings If we took a moment we would realize That we're not alone There are hands to hold Dreams come alive. Uh, thank you. Once I pull my guitar out, it's gonna make y'all ladies shout As I roam across the lands Just to play up on the stairs And I give my heart and soul As I sing my rock and roll, yeah Thank you. Stephen Greenfield. Arthur Gray. Gray. Is that your middle name? Aren't you Arthur Holzenberg? Yeah. Yeah, I am. <laughs> uh, let's have a drink. You know, you know, I'd love to, but um, we, we just have to pack up our stuff. Well, let's keep it short then. I used to work with your father. Here. How about we meet tomorrow? Okay. Um, it's 10 a.m. work? Sounds good, Art. Good luck, Tim. As I sing my rock and roll, Stop encouraging this. <laughs> encouraging. Ain't no control in Harry. Yeah. Need some help picking him up? No, nah, man, I got it. You sure? Yeah, it's. It ain't my first rodeo. Yeah. All right, Junior. Good night. Good night, buddy.
Hey, Dad. Are you right in there? Uh, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, so then what happened? And then he opened an old cask of wine that turned many heads from a familiar merchant, of course. You'll hear it soon. So my question is, is this wonderful human being that you are so excited about meeting, is he gonna give us eargasm? <laughs> Even better. <laughs> His last name will make us money. He's the son of Harold Holzenberg. Wow, why do you think I'm here on a Saturday morning? Arthur, uh, there you are. Hey, thanks for showing up. Of course. Yeah. This is Oliver, our is our engineer. This is Arthur, our newest talent in town. <laughs> All right, Art. That is, it's Arthur. <laughs> Arthur, <laughs> it's good to meet you, man. It's me too. I'm looking forward to seeing what you can do. Oh man, my pleasure. Really? <laughs> yeah. The stage is all yours. Yeah. All right now. Um, yeah. Get in there. Hmm. Oh, uh, I, I didn't even bring my guitar. Do you guys have a lefty hanging around? When you're ready. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Sorry, um, the one from last night, please? Thank you. Oh, um, sure, yeah. Getting up to hit the road, gotta pack my bags, got a heavy load. Slip on my blue suede shoes, I'm ready to be a singing the blues. Going round from town to town, so I can make that screaming sound. Once I pull my guitar out, it's gonna make y'all ladies shout. Thoughts? As I roll He's got chops. across the mm -hmm. land. Just to play Talent runs in the blood Up on the stands And I give My heart and soul Just Great to... How about a song from Nightingale? Uh, from what? Sir, did you understand what I told you? Yeah, I, uh, my liver, it's cirrhotic. Yeah, the medications won't work anymore. You need surgery. We need to get you on a donor list. Yeah, well, <clears throat> thanks, Doc. Mr. Holzenberg. It's high time you stop drinking. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Harold originally had quite a number of songs in that collection. Wanted to call it Nightingale. It's so weird that I had no idea it even existed. 
<laughs> he never mentioned it. Hmm. Oh, can't blame you. We just never got to produce it. Your dad and I, well, we had our disagreements. While he felt that they were meant for just one person, I believe the whole world deserved to hear them. So, in the end, nobody got a chance to hear the voice of Nightingale. So, do you want to hear some of my originals? I want you to sing Nightingale, Arthur. I'll be able to get a deal with best label in the business and produce it. I still remember those songs. They were all, you know, Holzenberg material. Maybe the best of the best. Holzenberg material. Nightingale by Arthur Holzenberg, heir of Harold Holzenberg. I can get every plugger, publisher, and distributor in the business at our doorstep. Lunch? Yeah, I'm down. You gonna leave it here? Yeah, I'm running low on juice. <laughs> but what'd your guy say? He wants me to listen to his originals. Good, then why don't you hear him out? Every time Dick and Harry has a song to sing. <laughs> Question is, what sells? Come on. Well, it doesn't look like you got a check. Arthur Holzenberg? The son of legendary Harold Holzenberg? Come on. What if that's all I'll ever be? One of the biggest in the business. It's just a label to you, right? Freaking record label. Mm -hmm. And you're just gonna turn it away. Wait, are, you, are you insane? Yeah, he wants Holzenberg, but just not Arthur. Suppose we get the deal, right? We get our foot in the door. And you just do one song, just one hit song. And then we earn the stage to do what we want. What we really want. What is this crap you're watching? Bon appetit. Dinner is served. Yeah, what is this? Oh, that's your favorite. It's a chicken sandwich. Someone actually came to see our show and they want to pitch me to a label. The catch is that they want me to play your songs. Did you hear me? <clears throat> Dad, I'm speaking to you. I heard you fine. They, they, they want me to sing your songs, Dad. I need your help. <clears throat> I think 
you can just stop, stop drinking just for a second, please. Well, I'm proud of you, because you haven't learned a damn thing from your old man. This is a huge opportunity for me, Dad. It Hey, I was talking to you. What is wrong with you, Dad? Why, why can't you just hear me out? What the hell is this? Look at me, Art. Look what I am. Haven't you picked up anything on my life? Yeah, I picked up. I picked up enough. It's about what you want, isn't it, Dad? Yeah. You know, thank you for being such a great father. The usual. Oh, yeah. Do you, though? Here you go. Yeah, the usual. Your cut from Friday night. Sweet. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh! <sighs> What's up? Working, dude. Ooh. That sounds serious. Uh, you care to share? Finding members for our band. Oh. What's wrong with the sequencer? Sequencers ain't gonna cut it, Chief. Come again? Trust me, we don't want to perform all by ourselves when Mr. Greenfield takes us to a record rep. Okay, um, how do you plan to pay them? Well, we start with credit cards, of course. Credit cards? <laughs> okay, look, no more machines. Musicians only. La, I don't think I'm on board with this plan. Oh, come on, dude. We have to set up our game plan for this. Did you get the album from Harold? Yeah, I'm, I'm working on it. You know it's the key, right? When did he want to hear him? Three weeks. Then we better get started. What happened? What happened? You tell me what happened.
So you, uh, get this opportunity. Yeah, man, I wouldn't really call it an opportunity. Hmm. They want me to record his songs. I see. I just... I'll never understand why he's such a goddamn asshole. What do you know about your father? Tell me. He's a drunk. Who's embarrassed of his own son. Is that what you think? You know, back in the day, when your father would sing, it would be like, uh... <laughs> Uh, that was a long time ago. He ain't that guy anymore. You know, your father hasn't touched his guitar since your mama left him. His concerts were canceled. Couldn't write. And he started drinking. And he never stopped. Your father is a jackass because he thinks there's nothing left inside. But if there is an inkling of anything, Arthur, you need to find out what it is. Arthur? All right, here's the game plan, all right? We're gonna get that band that you wanted. But we're not gonna give Stefan what he wants. Awesome, that was, uh, that was, that was great. Really good. So, so what's your, what's your rate? I'll do 500 for rehearsals, 1,000 for local performances, and then, you know, studio work and touring stuff, you can cut your discount on that stuff. If we're on the road, I'm gonna need my roadie and my trainer, of course. Okay, I, uh, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> Don't leave me by myself. <laughs> I do a thousand per gig. If there's a lot of them in a row, then I can, you know, if I can package stuff, sometimes I can like trim a little bit off the top, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, this is my partner and my best friend, and his name is Mr. Melody. Hi. Soda pop and ginger ale. You can not have any because you have a tail. Ginger ale and soda pop. You can not have any because you have a tail. That was, that was amazing. I don't think, I don't think it's exactly what we're going for, but... Yeah. But for our international section. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, maybe... Uh, Chris. Chris, yeah. Chris, cool. Uh, hey, Chris, thanks for coming in. Hey, guys. Hey. Hi. Good to see you. Good to see you, you too. too. Mostly you. Oh. Oh. Um, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, let's get a little hot in there. Oh. Well, okay. okay, yeah. Why does it say... Um, that you're a professional stalker on your resume? Because my words creep up into your mind without you knowing. Okay, you might want to rephrase that. Just one second. Take um, your time. Darling, this is the part where you sing.
want me to perform with you for low to no money for three weeks? Yes, maybe more. Is she your girl? <laughs> no, 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 we just play together. She's keyboards. How many more on the team? Three, if I count you in. I'm thirsty. Alright. Let me get you a drink, man. Well, that went well. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, he thinks you're cute. Okay, you blame him? Humble. <laughs> I know. Very. That's how you have to be. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we've got one. Mm -hmm. What about base? You know, I might know a guy. Mr. Tucker? Just please wait inside and he'll be with you shortly. Great. Thank you. Sure. Yeah, Saturday at 1 is good. Mm hmm. Okay, great. Bye. Steve, what's up? <clears throat> okay, thank you. I got what you asked for. I give you 30 days to find something fresh and you come back in 10. It's very impressive. Who's our talent? The son of an old friend of mine. The heir of a legend. One, two. As we all wander through a million things Striving to rise up with our broken wings. If we took a moment. Sorry. Then... Sorry. It's okay. So, uh, yeah. All right. One more time. <sighs> Same place. Of course. One, two. As we all wander through a million things. Ah, uh, come on, man. Come on. Alright, it's all good. It's all good. Right, from the chorus, here we go. As we all wander through a million things, striving to rise up. Alright, you know, let's just take time. Take time. Smoke break! So defeated, all right? Oh, you can see why I want a sequencer now, can't you? Don't start with sequencer. Start what? We have two days, and, and what are we even doing here? We're at a good pace. Good's not good enough. Arthur, we're not machines. Exactly. Exactly, because machines don't mess up three times in a row. Three times! Cut them some slack. 
Sometimes you need a friend to lend you a hand when you feel low, not an iPad, all right? Sometimes it's nice to give a pat on the back and a little, you did well. It helps, trust me. Little kindness, little warmth. Should we do it again? Yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, let's go again. On, you got this. Oh. Ready? Yeah, it's only right. half a smoke, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> My band's playing tomorrow for the first time. I thought you might want to check it out. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, great talk. Father know about this? Yeah, he, uh, he doesn't care. You sure about that? Mm-hmm. Because him and his cat didn't exactly get along. Yeah, man, trust me, I told him, and he really doesn't give a shit. All right. Good luck, fellas. Thanks, Father. It's gonna be great, okay? Just trust me. They are all set. What? I said they're all set. Oh. Here flies Nightingale. <laughs> all right, ready when you are, guys. Ready? Let's do it. Here we go. Stop it! The hell is this, Arthur? I, I just... I'm not here to listen to this. Thought it was very clear with what we're here for. You were, and I just thought. My job is two words what sells? Do you have any idea what I have in store for you? This is a waste of my freaking time. Adam, was this your... No, 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 no. I, I just thought if you heard our song, you would... Man, just give us a chance. Did I not? 
You don't belong here. What the hell is going on, Arthur? So, before you guys joined the band, Stephen Greenfield came to one of our gigs and he approached me and gave me a card. Wanted to take a meeting, so I, I jumped at the opportunity, you know? I thought this was my big break. But it turns out he wanted me to record one of my dad's albums, an album I never even heard of before. An album called Nightingale. But man, after we talked that night, I, I knew I couldn't do that. I knew that I had to play some of my original stuff and just not tell him. I'm, uh, I'm sorry I didn't tell you guys really. Here. Guess I blew that. So you, uh, never heard the Nightingale Collection? No, I did. <laughs> what, it was uh, that bad? No, man, it was... It was incredible, it's just... It's not mine. So that's the problem. You ever sailed, Arthur? You know, when I was young, I waited on a boat. Big, the beautiful, the perfect one. I mean, many boats came by, but none was ever what I expected. But then one day she come in, the Titanic of them all. <laughs> I mean, she exceeded all my expectations. But I told myself, maybe there's something better. So I chose to wait. Now, many people said, Adam, ain't nothing better ever gonna come. But I stood my ground. And I waited. And I waited. Until I looked up one day and I saw that I had gray in my beard and wrinkles on my face. You was her old son before you was Arthur. The compromise might be worth it. Whew. I'll see you later, Junior. See you later, Adam. Hey, Dad! Hey, Dad! Did he not mention any of this? No. 
Well, I can't promise the outcome of transplant surgery, considering his age. Well, is he... Um... He's still unconscious. We have to treat the encephalopathy coma before we can even consider the surgery. Make up your mind. We have to get him on a donor list ASAP. Well, how long will it be till he finds a donor? No, months. Weeks, if we're lucky. It's hard to say for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's move forward. Yeah. All right. Sign the consent forms and bring me his medical records, and someone will talk to you about the insurance. Stefan with Reindeer Music. Um, it's Arthur. You have three seconds. I have the album. <laughs> Someone's early. As always. Oh, really? <laughs> when in your land always basically means nothing, right? So, what's the plan? Oh, oh the plan, my punctual friend. <clears throat> Practice. I gave it a listen. And? It's dope. Oh, he likes yep. it. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Let's his go. approval. All right. Count us in. Is he asleep? No. I'm dead. <laughs> How we doing? It's Greenfield. <laughs> Working hard, I see, huh? Yeah. 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 How's it coming along? Nearly perfect. Better be. <laughs> <laughs> Good news. The label loved the tracks we sent. Uh, I see Christmas coming early this year. Well, gets it even better. An executive wants to hear the band perform live. Wow. <laughs> Thursday. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, that, that's like in three days. Artists may want freedom, but what they need are deadlines. It's, it's just not enough time. I thought you said it was perfect. I said it's getting there. <laughs> Nervous, Arthur? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> what can I say? If he's convinced, he might sign a deal then and there. Hmm. 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 Well, I guess we better get back to work then, right? Hmm. Thanks for stopping by, Mr. Greenfield. I wish we could see my band play, Dad. I really wish you were. From time to time, we tend to get a little lost. Thinking that our happiness is far away from us. Staring out the window as the days go by. 
maybe we could find it if we took a look inside as we all wander through a million things striving to rise up with our broken wings if we took a moment we would realize that we're not alone there are hands to hold and dreams come alive yo i'm hearing static bro yeah yeah man i'm hearing it too so is it a loose line in what about the input check signal Loud and clear. Okay, so how about the phantom power? Yep. I'm still hearing a hum. Yeah. Yeah, me too, man. Um, shit. Okay. We better get this squared away before four, right? Oh, well, thank you, Captain Obvious. You never fail to save the day, do you? All right, man. Let's just get this squared up. All right, coming in. It should be set. It should do it. Call me crazy. We set input to two and bam. That should do it. Yep. Yep, I don't hear anything now. Cool. I always know what I'm doing sometimes. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh man, I hope this goes well today. Yeah, me too. Me too. Let me ask you something. What? drives you what inspires you keeps you going uh, i don't know man uh <laughs> i guess it's just uh, i don't know it's hard to put in the words i wake up every morning and it's what i want to do and i get up it's all i think about it, it consumes me it's like it's like an obsession. It's nice. It's actually really inspiring. You pursue what you want. Well, don't we all? No. Not all of us. Not all of us. Do not mess this up. I'll do my best, man. All right, brother. Excuse me a sec. Mm -hmm. Hello? Hey, Adam, will you help me with this, bro? Just right up here. I got it. Where's Arthur? I thought he was with you. Uh, no. Hypovolemic shock. Yeah, but if he needs blood, why aren't you giving it to He's him? He's AB negative. We need a donor. You said you and he was here earlier today, right, Oliver? Yes, I did, but uh, yeah, I have no idea where he's at. It's no. Lavanya, yeah, but whatever. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, don't give me that, okay? <sighs> Can't reach him. Wait, stop. stop freaking out. Okay. Should I go to his house? No, no, they're almost gonna be here. There's no point. Hey guys. This is Mr. Robert Tucker from Sangoria Records. Hi. How do you do? Good, good. It's good. lovely to meet you. Yeah, nice to be here. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity. Yeah, my pleasure. Well, good luck, gentlemen and lady. 
Thank you. Everything going well? Yeah, yeah Oliver, why don't you take Mr. Uh, Ms. Trucker up to the suite, uh, walk him up there while I set things up here on the stage. Okay? Absolutely. Yeah, great. You guys good? You have everything you need? Yeah, thank, thank you. you so much. So good. Mm -hmm. Just a few minutes to prep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Thank you, time. Thanks. Great, great, thanks. Okay. Where the hell is he? Where's your star, Steve? Yeah, he should be walking in any second. Any second. Yeah. I'm Oliver. leaving in five. Okay, just give it uh, five more. Oliver, you want to set up the board right yeah. away, please? Yes. Thanks. Thanks. So maybe I'll just make a quick call, make sure that uh, there's no problems, you know, L.A. traffic. And Please, no excuses, Steve. No. Would you, can I get you something while we're waiting? to make a quick call. Where were you? Sorry. Sorry. He's here. He's late. Ah, yes, he's late. I'll give him a good talk in to don't worry about that. <laughs> You okay? Let's go. Yeah. Oliver, that's your name, right? Yeah. Okay, Oliver, would you please just see if they're ready or what they're doing? Hey, guys, you all ready in there?
Holzenberg. He's not the Holzenberg. Right? Yes. I can make it happen. Okay. I will <clears throat> make it happen. Yes, you will. Oh, no, 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 no. This, this can't be happening. It's a safety blanket. They were not published anywhere. Besides, actors do this all the time. Yeah, well, I'm not an actor. Let me get this straight. Mm. You want us to pretend that we did the song. Yeah. And take credit mm. for it. I steal Harold's stuff. Harold is sick, unconscious. Whom do you think has the rights to his work after him? Mm. Oh. OK, yeah, now I see where your head's at. So you want me to mime? Some remastered version of my father's song. Do you have any idea how insulting that is? Forget it. Let's just go. Good call. Let's go back to the bar, wait for another Robert Tucker to show up. Happens every day. Why don't we ask Adam about it? Hmm? If you choose not to speak up, we'll have to assume that you support this nonsense. The decision has to be unanimous. It's a line I can't cross. Do you understand the bigger picture here? Like, you know, don't, don't even answer him, man. I'm tired of listening to this clown. Yeah, you walk out that door, then what? That's not your concern. Can I have a second with you? No, Stephen, have a second with all of us. All right, I'm not here by myself. Um, what do you think Harold would want for his son? This is not about Harold. It's about Arthur. It's about Lavanya. It's about Will. It's about me. Hell, it's even about you. We're the ones that's going to have to live with it. Do you understand that? You just threw your future to the curb. Hello, sir. I'm Catherine with Milo and Milo Insurance. I believe you are Mr. Holzenberg's son? Yeah. Is it a good time to talk? <clears throat> yeah. I'm here to talk about the coverage for Mr. Halsenberg. Is there, is there a problem? Absolutely not. Just need to confirm certain details, sir. He says your father was in rehab twice for his addiction, correct? The doctor mentioned that he had advised surgery earlier. Did you have any knowledge about it? Hi. Here to see Mr. Tucker. Sure. Give me a second, Mr. Greenfield. Yeah. Mr. Greenfield? Uh, okay. Thanks. I'm sorry, but unfortunately he's unavailable at the moment. Would you like to leave a message? I had an, an appointment. As I said, he's unavailable, sir.
are you doing here? Just, uh, checking on an old pal. What'd the doc say? He needs to have a liver transplant surgery. <sighs> well, sounds expensive. <clears throat> How do you plan to pay for it? You know, that's that's not your area of concern, Mr. Greenfield. You're absolutely right. Harold's health is not my concern. Shouldn't be. Last I checked, insurance doesn't pay for someone who's suicidal. Or a chronic alcoholic who dragged himself to this bed. I'll take out a loan. Charity. You know, I'll do whatever I have to do. I'll sell the house if I have to. <laughs> sure. You could do that. Or you can be the reason your old man gets up and walks. Ninety thousand dollars. One single. of his medical bills, right? Not a penny more, not a penny less. There'll be no team. I'll take full responsibility for everything else. I'll make sure no one talks. Deal. I think I just made a deal with the devil. Yeah, but who'd even believe you? I agree. This might ruin your career. Yeah, well, I gotta take the chance, man. It's a stretch. All right, well, what are my options here, bro? What about we publish our own stuff? Yeah, like, I haven't tried that already. We've tried that. It's not an option, bro. Yeah. Say you do it, then... I don't know, man, we, we do the job. All right, we get the money, and then sooner or later, we, we can do what we actually do, right? Whatever it takes. I gotta do it for my dad. Whatever it takes. Oh. Me too. No. Me too, Let, let's do it together. No, no, you guys, you guys are right. It's asking too much. You... You're not asking. Something that I can do for Mr. Holzenberg, as a fan. You know I'm in. Come on. Who ate my slice? <laughs> You'll do it for a friend, right, Adam? The heir of a once famous country singer has stepped forward to revive the legend's name. Arthur Holzenberg, the son of the one and only Harold Holzenberg, shines in his new single, Nightingale. If you guys haven't heard the song yet, it, it's very heartwarming. I, I think it'll be at the top of the charts for, for quite some time. You right there, Adam, buddy? I feel great. I feel great. I feel great. <laughs> Slow down, man. I, I, I cannot believe that we sold 18,000 copies in a week. Yeah. 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 Proud of you, my brother. Yeah. It was worth it. it yeah. Christmas really did come earlier this year. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you. It's one o'clock already. One more. Mm -hmm. yes. No, 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 no just no, one. No, one more. No, Come on, it's celebration. No man. more. We keep this up. We'll be driving these guys home. Next time, we'll sell more. Next time, mm -hmm. we'll sell something better. 
We'll sell it all. <laughs> we'll sell all of it. Arthur, you and me will be millionaires together. <laughs> all right, calm down there, Captain. It's my turn now. Here, here. Hey. Here, here. Dare, dare tell me. Dare tell the captain to calm down? Huh? All right, that's enough. Arthur, he's drunk. Oh, come on. Come on. No, it's, that's... Come on. Let's call this. Hey, look who's up. You were out for a while there. I was worried about you. Yeah, sorry. I... Come on. No, I'm sorry for all that trouble I'm putting you through. I'm sure I beat you at it when I was six. <laughs> ah, you were a handful. So, Dad, the, uh, the doctors advised surgery. You're already on the donor's list. We're just waiting on the liver. Well, I got myself here. I don't want you to waste your time and money on me. Come on, Dad. You know I'm going to do whatever's necessary. <laughs> Are we going to pay for all this? Uh, you know, there are ways. Financing, installment plans. You know, I'm not going to leave you with a shit pile of debt, you know, just a little, little longer. So, Dad, your, your old manager, Stephen Greenfield, he gave me a record deal. Stay away from Stephen Greenfield. Oh, come down, come down. Ah, just a single, that's it. Don't waste your life on music. Just walk away, do something else. Do something else? Yeah. I don't know how to do anything else, Dad. Now, I've been down this road before. It always ends up in the same place, a big pile of shit. Do something else, Hart. You know, not everybody rides to reach the end of the road, Dad. Some people just enjoy the journey. If I didn't follow my heart right now, what would I have to look back on and cherish when I'm a hundred years old? If your music is gonna pay for this, then I am not gonna have the surgery. Dad, it's my choice, Art. Hope you can respect that. But... <laughs> You know what, Con congratulations, Dad. You win again. Mr. Greenfield? Hey! Look what I got you. Well, thanks for the whiskey. Never know when you're gonna need booze in this house. <laughs> so, what brings you by? Well, I came to ask you when we're doing the next one. I'm ready whenever you are. My songs are ready to go. Here's the thing with that, Arthur. The company thinks, you know, we should do what we did. Again? Again. No. 
No, I'm sorry, Mr. Greenfield, but I'm done with that. I'm done. The company's willing to negotiate a new deal. Willing to increase benefits. Just think of Harold. You see, don't do that. Stop playing the father card because he woke up. And he's refusing the surgery. Seriously? And you're fine with it? It's, it's not my call to make, Mr. Greenfield. He's sick for Christ's sake. I'm sorry, but the next time that you and I work together, it's going to be on my songs. It's going to be with my voice. But, um, you know, thanks for the whiskey. You think you can walk away from it? You all right? Yeah. Sure. Yes, I'm great. Yeah. <laughs> Arthur. Caroline. <laughs> hey, hey. Hi. How are you guys? Loving Great. it. Yes, right. Yes. Great. Um, congrats on the song, man. Thank you. You sound so damn different than you used to. Yeah, it's uh, funny how that happens, right? <laughs> <laughs> Look who we have here today, people. Arthur Holzenberg. Huh? <laughs> Come on, sing a song for us. Maybe another time, okay? Come on. He's a little tired. No, 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 no. Up sing. 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 Yeah. All right. Woo! Woo! Let's get a drink of a drink of water or something. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. I enjoy coming down here. You got another thing coming. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Yeah, I'm doing great. I got some good news for you. Mm. They found you a liver. All you gotta do is sign right here. Well, all they gotta do is understand what the 
fuck no means. Harold, people are just trying to help you. Yeah, well, people can piss off. You know, my friend, sometimes you're just too much. Well, think about it. Yeah, I'll take it with you. Think about it. Take it. Think about it. Piss off, Adam. Get the fuck out of here. mess. Yeah, I do. You don't have a claw on you, do you? Arthur. Oh, come on, man. I'm celebrating. I'm enjoying my life. This is the time to be celebrating, isn't it? Yeah. You've clearly gone crazy. Yes, I have. You all play out lately? Huh? What about you? Bring the star over here, keeping it tight. What about you? See, see, you can all perform whatever you want. I can't do that anymore. Now I have to be worried about people finding out what my actual voice sounds like. You know, I did all this for my father in the first place, and you know what he said to me? If your music's what's gonna pay for this, then I don't want the surgery. That was before I could tell him the truth. I couldn't tell him. Why not? Because how do you follow that law? Hey, Dad, I stole your work and sold it to the world as my own. <laughs> you know, it's actually, it's actually pretty funny. I mean, he never wanted me to sing in the first place. And here I am, unable to sing. So let's celebrate that, huh? Arthur. What we did, we did for Harry. And that sacrifice ain't for nothing. FYI, they found him a new liver, but he's still refusing to consent. Hey, look man. I didn't know I'd give a damn about any of this when I first saw you on that bar. You're a good dude, but if you give up, on your own family. You'll have nothing left to live for. Hey. We're not gonna give up on you. So you can't give up on your father. Hi, sir. I'm Lavanya. Hello, sir. Will Goff. Big fan. What is all this? This is my band, Dad. Maybe I should step out. No. No, no, no maybe I should step out. No, no, everyone in this room has a reason for being in this room, right? I just... <laughs> I need to understand your thought process here, Dad, because I mean, clearly I don't. And I don't think this decision that you're making is in anyone's best interest. I don't understand why it's so hard for you to sign the consent forms now that we have the money and we have the liver. You need to have the surgery, Dad, or you're going to die. And the only person from stopping you from getting this it's you. I speak now. After everyone in this room says what they came to say. Well. Uh, sir, I've known Arthur for a long time now. And I've got a father too. Sorry, go on. No child will want to see their father go through something like this. 
Will. Hmm? You want me to? Yeah. Come on. Um, Arthur's a, a good man. And, um, you know, I think you should consider surgery. Because whatever he had done, he's done for you. If you don't sign the consent form today, Harold, they're going to take you off the list. And at that point, there's nothing anybody can do. Are you talking now? Please. Arthur, uh... Your mother didn't leave me. I mean, just leave me. She left me for another man. When I was on the top of this damn business, I was so busy. I couldn't be a dad, I couldn't be a husband. You know, I was so busy, I didn't even see the signs where she's coming off with some other man. And I couldn't accept that. I couldn't. And I drank. And I drank, and I drank. <laughs> and then I couldn't play. I lost my music because uh, I lost my love. I lost my love because of my music. You know, what good is all this fame and money to you when you haven't got your family? You see what I mean? I don't have any reason for hanging around to see him go down the same shitty road, Adam. together man do the right thing if not for yourself for your son he deserves it Hey, you mind if I play some music? Yeah, sure. <sighs> you seem to like this one. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's an old one. From the uh, 90s. That was uh, famous back then. Singing the blues. Oh, I knew the guy who sang it. Really? What was it? Uh, uh, Holland Bird or Hawking Bird? Had a couple of hits back in the day. I don't know whatever happened to him after that. He uh, disappeared. So who's your favorite now? Oh, I don't have any in this decade. Really? But may I ask why? Uh, I just, back in those days, had a story to tell. Had actual art. <laughs> and they had to actually be good. Not like these hashtag artists in LA. Their reboots and their remakes, I believe. They plug the ox into their iPhones. Play a song. Just sang it, I don't know, for the hundredth time. 
and then ask my honest opinion. <laughs> As if they're going to get a record deal from me. <laughs> yeah. I had a story to tell, huh? Mm. Hey, you know what? Can you, can you let me out right here? Right here? Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, this is good. Holtenberg here, and uh, I have a confession that I, I want to get off my chest. So, many of you know we just had some success with the album Nightingale, but uh, I didn't write Nightingale. It's uh, it's, it's not even me singing. It's it's my dad. It's his songs. It's his voice. I did it to pay for his medical bills. Uh, but no excuses. And at the at the time, it seemed like a a good idea. Not okay. Hello? Yeah. I don't. Why did he do that? I... Well, I don't know. I wasn't there, okay? I, I... This is my decision, and, uh... I have to live with the consequences, so... I just thought it was time to tell my story. Thanks for listening. So what made you do it, Arthur? Up your stitches. How you feeling? Oh, I never felt better. Uh, you knew what would happen, didn't you? And yet, I did what I wanted. Just to show me you can? No, I just. It felt better to tell my story than to live behind a lie. You did well. You did real well, Art. I don't know if I'd have been man enough to do that. <laughs> I am really proud to be your old man. Thanks, Dad. That, that means a lot. You know, hey, you know that uh, that record company yeah. guy called me up? Yeah. He wants to hear some of my songs. <laughs> <laughs> Shit out of you, man. That's a good start. Yeah. You know what? When you get out of here, you get all better. I want to take you somewhere.
Where? Um, let's just call it rehab.
last forever as we promised each other was this a dream were we pretending this human die was it all a Oh, I dread this silent symphony. 